we have been asked to recite certain shlokams since childhood uh, one among them is uh, them is purnamidam purnamidam so uh, i want you to throw some light on this it's a secret question <laughs> in a language that you cannot understand <laughs> so purna means you know what purna means all of you know Purna means complete or absolute. So everything is absolute, I am absolute, the creator is absolute, everything else is absolute. Chanting every day, but in your experience nothing is absolute. Everything is threateningly, anxiously unstable, <laughs> freaking you out, so unstable day-to-day -day realities, yourself, people around you, situations around you, your social realities, financial realities, everything seems to be terribly threatening to a point where you're becoming paranoid. If you… see, you will see this. If you go, a child is sleeping, if you go and touch the child like this, He'll open his eyes like this. But most adults, you touch them like this <laughs> Very few adults, if you go touch them, they can do that. Yes, very few. Most of them will come up <laughs> like this. Simply because every moment of their life, they're anxious about the realities of their existence. They can go on chanting Purnamidam, Purna, whatever, but nothing is complete, nothing is absolute, everything is so dicey. In their mind, life looks so dicey, so absolutely inconceivable that they are threatened by every situation in their life. Anxiety rules. Too many human minds are ruined by anxiety. Now, you going on chanting this, it is not wrong if you're using it as a reminder. If you are just bullshitting yourself that everything is complete, everything is great, everything is fantastic. Two ladies met. This really happened, really. <laughs> After a very long time, they were in high school together, they had never met for twenty years. Today they met and they met in a fancy restaurant. And as soon as they sat down, one of them started off, you know what, we just bought a, a silver ghost for our butler to go and buy vegetables every day. What's a silver ghost? Don't know. Rolls Royce. Oh, but for our Chinese gardener, he likes a Mercedes. So we bought a Mercedes for him because he has to bring so many things. And uh, you know, for our dog, Tiara, <laughs> we actually made a diamond tiara for her. As this person went on saying this, the other person said, Wow, that's fantastic. Wow, that's fantastic, wow, that's really fantastic. It went on like this. After exhausting everything, what have you been doing? She said, I've been attending a charm school. How quaint, what is a charm school? What do they do there? Well, the teachers to say fantastic instead of bullshit <laughs> So if you are using it like this, no good. If you are using it as a reminder, you are using it as a reminder to remind yourself somewhere the whole universe is complete by its own nature, otherwise it wouldn't be going on like this, isn't it? 
somewhere you're missing the point. Because you are not a living being, the reason why you're missing it is you are not a living being, you are a psychological being. You are a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas, opinions, prejudices, all kinds of things. In this there is no completeness, this is just a mess. But leave the rubbish that's happening in your mind, just look at this. You are not running it, it's breathing by itself, it's beating the heart, the livers are functioning, kidneys are functioning, everything is happening quite complete, isn't it? Yes or no? Now if you look at this body, if you look at the planet, if you look at the cosmos and said, Purna midam Purna, wow, it's real, isn't it? You look at your mind and all the rubbish that's happening in there and say, Purnam, what Purnam? <laughs> if you sit here as a living being, everything is complete. If you sit here, as a bundle of thoughts, emotions and rubbish. If you sit here as just a psychological being, you are a case <laughs> So, do not utter these things from that context. Just look up these billions of stars, not billions of stars, billions of galaxies actually. Everything happening. Somebody MBA is sitting and doing it, <laughs> managing it? I'm asking you, which university did they study to manage this? No, something is very complete, isn't it? Something is very absolute, which makes all these things happen. If you were in touch with it, Purnamidam, hundred percent true for you. If you're just here, it looks like one big lie and it is a lie. It's time to at least become a living being, don't become anything else. Just become a piece of life and you will see it's complete, absolutely complete. If you sit here as a mind, always incomplete, eternally incomplete, it cannot be complete because that's not its nature. So people who said this, people who made this chance, they are living beings, they are not minds or mindsets.